Towards the end of the construction period in 1939, there was an air of dissatisfaction amongst the laborers. They felt they were being treated like convicts, working 15 hours a day with very poor, cramped living conditions and poor food. Guards were drafted in to control the workforce and prevent strikes breaking out. But as the dissatisfaction grew stronger, desperate measures were introduced to improve working conditions and keep the construction on schedule. Anyone who had worked continuously for more than 12 months was allowed leave. Wives were allowed to visit the camps and given cheap railway passes to travel. The wages were increased and to those who worked in the more difficult or dangerous conditions, medals were awarded. These measures, introduced on Hitler's orders to complete the line at all costs, mollified the irate workforce. There were many young workers from the Arbeitsdienst, which was the Nazi labor force. Every able German boy or girl had to join this for six months, as soon as they reached the age of 17, although many volunteered at a much younger age. Their free muscle provided much of the labor for digging the foundations and the anti-tank traps, and also for laying the barbed wire fencing. By the August of 1939, the task was complete. The West Wall was finished. They had completed in just over a year a mammoth construction of concrete, steel and timber which stretched across the western frontiers of Germany like a grey snake. It was over 640 kilometers long. It reached into Germany along its length, some four kilometers in depth. 14,000 pillboxes and bunkers had been constructed, linked by a network of concrete roads. The cost had been a staggering 3.5 billion German marks. Whatever others may have thought about the feasibility or purpose of this new line of fortification, Hitler had his own opinion, and it was all part of his grand plan. He knew that it would give him the complete freedom of action in the East that he needed for his intended actions in Poland and Czechoslovakia. For the first time in history, due to the protection the wall offered in the West, Germany did not have to fear a war on two fronts. The reason for her military downfall so often in the past. Hitler had once remarked to one of his generals, believe me, general, I am the greatest builder of fortifications of all time. I built the West Wall. <laughs> 